What is going on guys, it's your boy Angel Gamer and we are back with another how to video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod uh, Bethesda's most recent game on, on uh, handheld devices which is Fallout Shelter. Now this game is based on Fallout 4 if many of you didn't know this. But for those who did, um, hopefully you have played the actual console game because it is brilliant. I have played it myself and I have finished it under probably like under a week. I just really enjoyed it and was able to play play at it continuously so now we're going to be focusing on the fallout shelter game which has been out on play store and app store for about a couple months now since fallout 4 came out and this game is just a bit more basic and uh doesn't require like good graphics from your device now for any of these watching right now that do not know about this game or what this video is about i'm going to be showing you guys how to get the game in the first place and then we're going to move on from there so it, um Unfortunately, this does not, I don't think this will work on iOS because uh, it restricts any unknown apps such as Lucky Patch to be installed, which therefore restricts you from uh, actually uh, a being able to mod any games. But if there are any other methods that you know you could do, then it will probably be best if you do that. Now, the audience is mainly for Android devices now, such as uh, Sony phones and uh, Samsung Galaxies and HTCs and stuff. So just pay, pay close attention. Alright, so you go on Google Play Store and then you type in Fallout Shelter. Once you've done that, you go on the first uh, first website right here. Not website, sorry. First app, Fallout Shelter. For me, where it says open, for you guys, it will say install. Unless you've already installed it and you're just waiting for the modding part of the video, which we'll get right into. So once that is installed, you're going to want to go on to... Uh, the section where your new games are, your brand new games are installed and where they come up. So just go to this place and you you don't have to click on the game yet. You just leave it there. And then for this next part, you will need Lucky Patch Art. If you guys already have it, uh, based on my previous videos, I have made, well, most of my previous videos, I have used uh, Lucky Patch Art as a method to mod and get free episodes if you watch my previous videos so this will be basically fairly the same so if you do not have lucky patch art uh, right now go at this stage of the video right now go into the link in the description of this video and then click on the link which i'll be providing to download lucky patch art it is 100 percent safe and i've got no complaints over it there's been no complaints that it damages your phone and the best part is you do not have to be rooted your phone can be rooted or unrooted it does not matter but the rooted version is more straightforward to do and i will show you in just a second all right so once you have lucky patch art this is what it will look like all right forget don't worry about the message about the warning so uh for me fallout shelter is at the top of the list because i've just recently installed it but for you guys it may be further down so do not despair and just scroll down until you find it once you have Okay, um, <laughs> we're going to do the update later. So once you have uh, identified where the Fallout Shelter app is on this list, you're going to want to click on it. And then now I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the, um, the non-root version. So this is how you do it if your phone is not rooted. So after you press on the app, you get this little menu. And then just press on open menu of patches. Once that is done for the non-root version, you're going to want to click on create modified apk file after that you're going to want to click on apk rebuilt and then this will come up do not take anything else just click on rebuild the app now i'm not going to do this because uh it might take a bit too long in this video but once you have done this just wait for it do not click anywhere else on the screen otherwise it may take the download away so just be patient for a couple minutes and then it should be finished you will be immediately notified of a little notification on the lucky patcher screen that the rebuilding of the app has been complete so now after that is done you will probably most likely be on, be on, like this you'll be at this stage and then um after you've rebuilt the app you're gonna wanna have you're gonna have to um uninstall the fallout shelter game just like this so once that is uninstalled you're going to want to go back on lucky patch art and remember this is only for the non-root version so once you're here you look at the little scroll bar at the bottom of the page and then rebuild and install click on that 
After that, you'll be presented with four boxes, four little folders actually, and then you're going to want to click on Lucky Patcher, and then you're going to want to click on Modified. And then for you guys, um, you will get a folder over here saying Fallout 4 Shelter, no, sorry, Fallout Shelter, and then you want to click on the folder, and then this will come up. Once that comes up, just click on this little APK, click on the file, and then just click on install and then the rest should be done from there and then you just install the application normally and then you're good to go so now let me show you guys how to do the root version quickly and okay so for the root version it's fairly the same you go on open menu of patches and then you just literally just click on support patch for in-app and lvl emulation once you clicked on that do not tick any other boxes than the ones that are already ticked as this is the custom method to do it and everything is already done for you so just press apply and then it should fairly take uh, around a minute or so all right guys so here we go, the patch results is pattern end to success. So there's 13 chance that this will work, but don't worry, nine times out of 10, this will work. So after that, you can either literally launch it straight away or just press okay. I'm just gonna press okay. And then you're gonna wanna go back into the application. Where is it? So after, you, so now um, both non-root and root versions will have to do the same as I am doing right now. So we are at the, we are both at the same stage. So just click on the app, wait for it to load. Let me turn the sound down so it doesn't interfere with my commentary. <clears throat> Alright guys, so we're going to enter a vault. For the sake of saving time in this video, because it has already dragged on, I'm going to go on my custom save, because I've done this method a long time ago, and I've just thought about introducing it to you guys right now. I'm just going to click on it and then click on load vault for you guys. You're going to want to create one or just continue where you left off just as I did right now. Has, it, has the screen just froze or what? Oh no, it's, it's still fine. Ah, uh, sorry about this guys, it's taking so long, I don't know why. Probably the first time I've played this game in a long time and I think it's just taking, it's just taking really, it's really slow. Alright guys, so it's done, so exactly where I left off. Um okay all right so this is for all devices and non-root it doesn't matter what you're on right now you're going to want to do the same thing as i'm doing right now so just click on the launch box over here at the bottom or the pip boy actually at the bottom right of the screen just click on it and then uh, click on the launch box things and then after that click on the shop icon right there from here you'll be able to purchase any of the lunch boxes that you may need so literally you could just purchase anything let me just show you for example buy pack and then you're done and then you've got all these voltaic lunch boxes to open and this will grant you a lot of bottle caps which will help you upgrade build uh, rooms sorry and it will help unlock new uh, dwellers from the wasteland Let's go back to the shop and try to purchase something else. We could purchase the starter pack. And here we go. Purchase. Sort. Here we go. Let's see what we get in the thing. Alright, we get 300 water. 300 food. 300 energy. 10 stim pack. 10 right away. 3,000 caps and a special one the Nuka-Cola Quantum I'm not quite sure what that does 
we got a new dweller, a specialist dweller, uh, Kenneth Cook. And let's see what else we get. We get Betty Harper, another special dweller. And what do we have here? We got a Mr. Handy, uh, Voltec, another dweller. And we get a pet. Seems like there's a lot of cards over here. We get another dweller, a special Mr. Burke. And that is it. And you guys can literally just keep purchasing these lunch boxes. And then you guys can make a ton of money and literally upgrade and buy all the rooms you want. To, uh, there's literally no limits to this. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this helped you out, uh, leave a comment to notify me. And to help others who look down in the comments, you know, to actually see if this works. Just help them out by, you know, saying, hey, this worked. Give uh, this channel a subscribe and like this video. Until next time, guys, it's Henry the Gamer.